Support Wrestle Talk. Click the thumbs up. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. Pro Wrestling Illustrated is a professional wrestling magazine even older than Big Dave Meltzer's illustrious Wrestling Observer newsletter, founded almost a decade before in 1972. It's the longest running English language publication devoted to play fighting. And even now, in a world proliferated by list articles about absolutely anything, make sure to tune into our five botched NXT call ups this weekend. Their annual ranking of the top 500 wrestlers in the world is still considered a pro wrestling event. For the first time in the list's history, a Japanese wrestler has topped the poll, with Kazuchika Okada being named the best in the world since July 2016, which is probably well deserved, considering Dave Meltzer believes all three of his matches with Kenny Omega this year are the best in wrestling history. In his interview with the magazine, Okada spoke about a future move to the United States. Going to WWE is not something I think about. New Japan is far superior to WWE when it comes to the quality of the roster and the quality of the matches. Rainalmaker! I've, I've only got coins. It's like hailstones. Just as traditional as the annual PWI 500 is the accompanying debate and moaning over which wrestlers should be ranked higher or lower. For those people, Samoa Joe wants to hurt you. If in the business and upset about your PWI ranking, schedule permitting, I'll stop by and toss a brick at your head to justify your boo-boo face. To which the Young Bucks retorted, yeah, easy for you to say Mr. 8. Okada was joined in the top five by AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns and Kenny Omega in descending order. In celebration of the list, I've actually compiled my own rankings, which is mainly dominated by SmackDown referee Rudy Charles. You're the best, Rudy. Maybe in just a few years' time, Ronda Rousey will be cracking the top 10. Fightful reported last month that the UFC star had expressed interest in a pro wrestling run, even going so far as to learn some of the basics from a current WWE wrestler. Training with Brian Kendrick in in Southern California. This was around the time Rousey visited the WWE Performance Center to watch her fellow four horsewoman Shayna Baszler compete in the Mae Young Classic, prompting Triple H to post a photo of the two on Twitter. While promoting the WWE Network tournament on ESPN's first take, Triple H made Ronda a very public offer to join WWE. Ronda has been a huge fan of WWE her whole life. I think it's something that she's definitely interested in and I'll throw it out right now. If she's interested, I'll give her the opportunity. We're all about personalities and that's what she brings to the table. Triple H's comments could just be a way to promote a public narrative of Ronda coming to WWE, with an agreement for her to wrestle already in place backstage. Along with the fightful report that Rousey has started training, the Wrestling Observer newsletter recently claimed WWE a very high on the horsewoman versus horsewoman idea, pitting Ronda Basler and their other MMA horsewomen, Marina Shafir and Jessamine Duke, against their WWE counterparts, Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. Ronda is still under contract with the UFC, but she hasn't fought since last December and has no fights booked on the horizon. It's time to honor those who've donated $10 a month or more to Wrestle Talk's Patreon with their very own Hall of Fame rings. So thank you, Thrill the Human Torch. Connor Bath in the blood of his enemies. Brawling Brian Kreiser. Peter gonna stop your stool. Catch as catch can, Connor Simons. Just Josh. Genga Simon Khan. El Diablo Pedro Mendez. The sick Ryan Scraddle. Ralph Green as grass in the ring. Chaos Reigns, Chaney Krellin. The best commentator in wrestling history, Josh Matthews, not the real Josh Matthews. And Russell Weathers the Storm. Batista is rumoured for a Hall of Fame induction next year! And which two WWE wrestlers are returning next year? Click the videos to the left to find out, press subscribe and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling!